Hey everybody, this is RTS Targe here with another video review, this time of the Megablox Halo Covenant Root Prowler. First off, forgive the sniffles, um, I am recovering from a cold, that was very bad, and so, yeah, please, I beg your yeah, forgiveness, I am sick. Anyways, um, it is set number 20. It has roughly 173 pieces, eight years or older, if that matters to you. Has the Prowler, a scenery piece from, I guess, the Ark. They say it's from the Ark. A orange Spartan with a BR, which is great. They haven't had a BR yet. No DMR yet, though. Hmm. Maybe in the next five. Um, also has two brutes, one with a spiker and the other with a uh, grenade launcher. Forgive me if that's not its name. I really don't know. So, yeah, here's the front. Here's the back. Um, so it has... Shows the articulation and the scenery piece. Um... Yeah, and so here's you know, UNSC Spartan 2, Covenant Brute. And all the new stuff, which I have all of except for this one and this one. And this, which I haven't seen yet. <laughs> Don't know if they're selling them yet. Battlescape. Hmm. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the box. And now for the figures. Um, now, um, I'm not going to be telling you the articulation of them, mostly since I've told you the articulation of them every single review I've done. Um, you know what I will do, though? So I'll do a short, quick video of just the articulation of it, and then link it to that. I guess I'll finally do that. I've been talking about it for a while. So, um, yeah. Zoom in. He's orange. Bright orange. Okay, now this is the BR. It's really small. Now each of these, um, dots is one inch apart. Yeah, that's inch and a quarter, maybe? Yeah inch and a quarter length and I don't have regular uh, assault rifle to compare it to unfortunately but hey I have this area back and I figured out what I'm gonna do with that since my sister won't let me keep it here I'm gonna be hanging it from my ceiling yes okay so um, fortunately I have to keep a good grip on the camera or else it'll fall Okay, so, um, yeah, there's lots of details, believe it or not. Um, oh, maybe you can see a few there. Unfortunately, my camera does not do the auto-focus thing in macro that some other people have. I don't know, maybe something to think about if I ever get a new one. This one should last me. Here's the grenade launcher. Has a... Uh, tendency to fall out of your hand. It has a uh, peg there, a grip, and the uh, spike. It's all one color though, which is a bit weird. Um, considering that they have the uh, a two-tone spiker on it, so yeah, just interesting. Uh, the spiker is a bit big. It is. Yeah. You can see a lot of detail there. Now, on to the scenery. I'm saving the best for last, I know. The tension must be killing you. If so, seek medical help. Mere tension should not do that to you. Now, they say that this is from the Ark. I'm not sure where I heard that think another reviewer. I'm not sure where he heard that, though. 
So, um, yeah, it has a barrel, which is pretty neat. Um, railing here, scaffolding, sand. Yeah. Now for the meat of the set, as it were. Um, okay, this is really bothering me. Uh, okay, you know what? Just hold it. Okay, uh, most of these are printed. In fact, I can't think of any stickers that were on this. But there have to be some, right? Um. Yeah, so all all these details are painted. And uh, the way you get the brute out is you simply set the camera down. Whoa. There. And then pull that off. Put it back on. There. Do you see that? Okay. So he is sitting on it. I do believe that this is printed too. I'm not sure though. Okay. And he... Uh, he's attached through a peg in his back. Which is in there pretty darn good. Pretty darn well. Which then goes up. I think that's the way it goes in. And yeah, I mean he has handholds here and here. And yeah. Um now they could have designed this tripod a little bit better. You see that? Yeah, okay. Now the way you put the brute in this, in the turrets, you pull this off. They can hold that, put them in the actual tube, then hook the uh, plasma turret, whatever it's called, on to the little clip it's on. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I really wish I had more light for you. Unfortunately, I just don't. Forgot to set that up. But, um... There, how about that? See, there's little purple lights and these hook things, and yeah. So, I actually really like this set. Um... So it was $20. I think I got it at Walmart. But you can get it at the other retailers also. And Target, Toys R Us. So is it really the only place I've found Halo Mega Box? Really? Um. Yeah, so. $20. Walmart, to Target, Toys R Us. And. I would actually give it a 9. I mean, sure, the BR is a bit small, but it's BR. Uh, there really aren't any stickers. I know it's really weird for something for Megawatch to do. No stickers, right? What are they thinking? Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, um... I really wouldn't mark it down on much. Because, you know, it, it's a fairly small set, I'll give it that. But, you know, that, that means that there's... I don't know. Sometimes they're just better at making small sets. So, yeah, this has been RTS Targe. Signing off, and I'll see you in the next part of the review. Bye.